How's it going, O-Doers? It's wonderful to see you as always. Today we'll be diving into the basics of build materials or BOMS. You see, in order for a business to manufacture a product, the employees need to know the steps or operations required to create it and the components needed to do so. This is where a BOMB comes into play. A BOMB contains everything we need to know to manufacture a specific product. Take our bookshelf product for example. To assemble our bookshelf, we need four shelves, two side panels, and eight screws. Putting all of that together requires one assembly operation carried out at our assembly line work center. Now, it wouldn't make sense to have our employees keep all that information in their heads. So we need to put it in a bomb so they can reference each time they build a bookshelf. Let's jump into our Odoo database now to create our bookshelf bomb. All right, here we are in the manufacturing app. First thing we need to do is make sure that the work orders feature is enabled. This allows us to add operations to bombs and specify the work centers where they should be carried out. So I'll head to configuration and then settings and we want to make sure that the checkbox next to the work orders option is ticked. Great, I've done so already. But make sure to click save once you enable it in your database. Now let's take a look at the product we'll be using for today's example, the bookshelf. So to access that, I'll click on our products option and then products once again and select our bookshelf card. Now on the product form, I'm going to select the inventory tab and make sure that the manufacturer route is enabled in the route section. Enabling this route tells Odoo that the product can be manufactured, which allows us to create manufacturing orders or MOs for it. All right, we're all set to configure a bomb for this product. So to do so, I have two options. First, I can navigate to products and select the bill of materials option. This page shows me every bomb configured for any product in my database. So to create one, all I have to do is click the new option in the upper left hand corner. Now, second, I can create the bomb directly from the product form. So let's return to the bookshelf's form to use that method. And once again, we'll select products, products again, and then click on that bookshelf card. Now on the form, I'll click the bill of materials smart button at the top. And this opens a new page where I can create every bomb created for this specific product. It's important to mention that you can create as many bombs as you want for a single product and that the bomb that's listed first on this page is the one that's selected by default for MOs. Now let's create a new bomb by clicking new. And since we navigated to this bomb from the bookshelf's product form, the product is automatically selected in the product field. In the quantity field here, I can set the quantity of the product that the bomb is used to create but we're gonna leave it for one for this example. In the reference field, I can enter a code that will distinguish this bomb from others created for the same product. And below that, we have the bomb type field. Since we want to manufacture the bookshelf, I'll leave it to manufacture this product. There are a few other options that can appear in this field, but we'll cover those in other videos. Now let's focus at the bottom for the top of the form. And first we have our components tab which allows us to specify the components needed to manufacture the product along with the required quantity of each. I'll add the first component, which is our shelf. And to do that, all we have to do is click add a line, type your component and select in the drop down menu in the component field. Then in the quantity field here, I'll go ahead and enter four. Cool, and I'll also go ahead and add the rest of the components, which is two side panels and eight screws. Now let's move to the operations tab where I can specify the operations needed to build the bookshelf, the assemble operation. So I'll go ahead and do that by clicking add a line and this create an operation pop-up window appears. In the operation field, I'll just go ahead and title this assemble. Then I'll select the work center where the work is carried out in the work center field below, which will be our assembly workstation. And in the two fields to the right, I can choose the duration of how the operation is determined. If I click compute based on track time, Odoo calculates the duration based on a certain number of the most recent work orders, which I can specify in the based on field right here. However, I'll just set it to set duration manually, which allows me to enter the specific duration in the default duration field below. 
I know it takes about half an hour to assemble the bookcase, so I'll go ahead and type 30 right here. And finally, we have a worksheet tab that appears at the pop-up here at the bottom. Now I can include instructions for how to perform the operations in either a PDF, Google Slide, or text format. Luckily, I have got a PDF already, so I'll go ahead and select the PDF option and go ahead and upload my file through my computer's file manager. All right, that's it for this operation. If I wanted to add another, I could go ahead and click Save and New, but since this is the only one, I'll go ahead and click Save and Close instead. And just like that, the assemble operation has been added to the bomb. Now we can create a MO for this bomb and use it in the manufacturer process of the product. To do so, I'll go ahead and navigate to operations and click on manufacturing orders, then simply click new. Now on the blank MO form, I'll select our bookshelf product. And after doing so, the bill of materials field automatically populates with the associated bomb. In addition, the required components automatically appear on the components tab and the required operations on the work orders tab. Now, when a manufacturing employee looks at this MO, they'll see all the information they need to assemble the one unit of the bookshelf. And that brings us yet to another close of an incredible tutorial. You now know all the basics of bomb configuration, which puts you well on your way to producing products using the Odoo manufacturing app. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.